Hi, my name is Uri Wallach and I lead the development of CPM at N2W Software. CPM or Cloud Protection Manager is a backup and recovery solution for servers running on the EC2 compute cloud of Amazon Web Services. Now in a previous video tutorial configuring CPM we saw how to configure a fresh EC2 instance running CPM server. We will now start using it. The first thing we'll do is to log in using the credentials we created at the configuration stage. This is the main screen of CPM. For now it's empty because nothing has been done yet. We will now associate a new AWS account to CPM. I'm clicking on Manage AWS Accounts. Now depending on the addition of CPM that you're running, you can associate one or more accounts with CPM. For now we're going to only add one. I'm clicking on Add New Account. I'm giving the new account a name. And I'm entering the access key and secret key for my AWS account. The account is now added. I'm clicking on main to return to the main screen. I will now want to define a new backup policy. I'm clicking on the policies tab and I'm clicking on new policy. To define new policy I need to give it a unique name. I'm going to call it first policy choose the account it is related to and of course there's only one now generations to save means how many generations of valid backup of this policy I'm going to save 30 means that only the last 30 valid backups will be saved and any previous backup or older backup will be automatically deleted by CPM the policy is enabled uh, schedules will return to later and I can give it an optional description this is my first Let's fix it. First uh, CPM policy. And I'm clicking on apply. As you can see, uh, there's a policy defined here. The first thing I want to do is to define what this policy is going to back up. And I'm doing this by clicking on the backup targets button and entering the backup targets page or screen. Now this screen has three types of backup objects or backup targets. One is instances. I can backup EC2 instances with or without or with part of their uh, EBS volumes. Furthermore, I can also backup EBS volumes directly regardless of their attachment state or to which uh, instance they're attached to right now. And I can backup RDS databases. Now. Uh, I'm going to add the, an instance now. I'm clicking on Add Instances. And I'm seeing here uh, the list of instances for the current region I have. Now, depending on the edition of CPM that you're running, you can either only choose instances from the current region or choose which region you want to add instances from. Here you can see I can choose whichever region I want. I'm going to click now on one of the instances. Click on Add. and hit add selected. This will remove this instance from this list and will add it as a background to the backup uh, targets screen. I can add more now whatever I want but I'm going to close the screen and I can see here that uh, red which is the name of the instance was added to the policy. Now I can remove it from the policy if I want or I can configure uh, additional things about it which which is the exactly which volumes I want to uh, backup. I'm going to hit configure and here I can see there are two uh, EBS volumes attached right now to this instance. I can either stay with the default which is back up all the volumes and then uh, even if volumes are removed and added over time each time a backup of this policy will start it will configure out which volumes are attached right now to this instance and will back up all of them. And I can choose to only include the selected, which I can click here, the selected volumes I want, or to exclude the selected volumes I want. I'm going to stay with the default now, and I'm going to go back to policies. Now I, I actually figured out what I want to back up, but I still haven't figured out uh, when to back it up. So if I'm going to click on the backup times link here, 
which should give me which backups are planned for this policy, I'm going to get an empty list because I haven't de defined a schedule yet. So to define a schedule, I'm going to click on the Schedules tab. And then I'm going to click on New Schedule. Now Schedule, same as Policy, needs to have a unique name, so I'm going to give it first Schedule. You uh, configure uh, the frequency of the schedule. I mean, uh, every how many uh, time units uh, the backup will occur. So one day is the default. I'm going to make it five minutes, which is very aggressive for a real uh, world backup plan. But uh, for this demo, it's okay. Start time gives this me the current time. End time by default it's never because uh, it means that the schedule will be active indefinitely. I can give it an expiration date if I want. Uh, and I can choose which days of the week it will be active on. By default it's all of them. And I can add an, uh, an optional description. I'm gonna... This is my first CPM schedule. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna click apply. And now I have this schedule defined. I can go back to policies. I can click on first policy. And now I can choose first schedules. I can actually choose one or more schedules to associate with this policy. And I can click apply. Now if I'm going to click on backup times, I can see actually that there's a lot of backups actually every five minutes that are planned for this policy. And this means this policy is probably well defined and it will start backup soon.